Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and I'm going to give you an update on Request Network, REQ, you can buy it on Binance just in case you was wondering. Now I did do a video on this probably about a month ago um, on the 25th of February and I said you know what, I was waiting for Request Network to break out of this line of resistance see if we can get a close up out of this line of resistance but i thought you know what touching it the first time is probably going to come back curl around and then come back for another retest of this uh, line of resistance and eventually break through and once it did break through i would be looking at a uh, potential move to the upside for this considering this was an altcoin that hasn't actually pumped yet and they've got a lot of things uh, going on they've got a lot of updates and developments happening Go and check them out in the Telegram. You'll find out exactly what they're doing. If you check out their website, there's a lot going on with this project. Okay, so fast forward uh, more or less a month later or just shy of a month later. We now have that breakthrough. Okay, um, it did re uh, get rejected over here. Like I thought it would, it came down. Okay, and it's got that curve pattern round back to the upside. So test it again and it's broken through. However, it's not closed yet. We are on a one daily chart. Okay, but if we see a candle body close above this level, I would say that it's, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely looking good for a Quest Network. Hopefully we can get some movement to the upside. And my first target, of course, will be over here about around 505 sats. Okay, now, of course, one of the things I'm looking at with this chart is the simple fact that it hasn't pumped yet. Right, we've seen a lot of coins and they've all had their parabolic moves to the upside. REQ request network hasn't yet. Now it is on Binance, which uh, which is a top tier exchange, of course. So for me, looking at something like this, yeah, it's been around for a little while. It's been around for a little while, okay, since about 2017, it's been on Binance, okay. It had a massive pump to the upside before. Since then, it got destroyed like the rest of the altcoins, okay. But right now, uh, what we can see is this kind of double bottom. We've got a bottom over here, a bottom over there. We see the W pattern forming, okay, very slowly. These moves don't happen overnight, all right? So it's all about being patient, keeping an eye on them, and then when you get that breakout, you can take your entry, and hopefully you'll get some more uh, upside. Now, it would have been nice to get in down here, but that would have been a dangerous entry. Getting in over here, okay? Um, it hasn't done anything crazy yet, and even if we did a measured move from the line down here, just to the first target, you're looking at approximately 112%, okay? And if it did break that, okay, we've got a target all the way up here, uh, around 1,200%, okay, so 12x, okay? So, you know, we've seen a lot of these altcoins take off. Like I said, this for me uh, is, is, is a contender for, you know, the next move to the upside, okay? Well, like I said, it won't play out overnight. It will be a bit of a, a short to midterm hold, um, and hopefully we can get that move to the upside. Okay, Bitcoin is cooling off right now. It's it's a good time to see some gains in the altcoins. All right. So I'm prepared. What are you doing? Just wanted to have a quick look at Hoge. Okay, now I did get out my position on this. Um, basically, I wasn't in this originally. Okay, but I saw it uh, come down. All right, I saw it come down, and I took a position down here and just a very short short trade okay i scaled well i got out of my position right over here about four five it was about four five five actually okay so i got out over there and um yeah that was just a quick trade but um i wanted to talk about hoge because it looks like um a bit of a pump and dump uh i know a few videos came out on this over the past couple of days okay and obviously it's had a massive push to the upside where it looks like a lot of token dumping on top of the newcomers coming in, which is horrible to see. Okay, actually lost approximately 99% of its value if we go down to that wick over there. Looking at 98%. All right, guys, obviously it's had a bounce. Is that a dead cat bounce? Um, you know, like for me, uh, you know, you have to be careful with some of these cryptos, all right? The website looks good, um, but yeah, Hoge. It's another one of these deflationary tokens. Uh, your balance increases as you hold it. All right, guys. For me, I'll just put a quick trade in on it. Um, you let me know whether you got stuck in this down, this, this, you know, this uh, sell-off, okay? Because I, I looked in the Telegram group and some people are really annoyed that they bought the top, 
All right, you have to be careful with these old coins. There's a lot of meme, meme coins coming out. Um, they're not necessarily gonna do as well as Dogecoin. I know Hoge is meant to be like the uh, the um, you know uh, the DeFi version of Dogecoin, but I don't think it's created by the same people. So you know you have to take those kind of things with a pinch of salt. Uh, make up your mind whether you're gonna get into something like this. Uh, not one for me. But um, like I said, short-term trade opportunity, I've already took it. Um, I've got nothing for you on that. I just thought, you know, let me just uh, point that out real quick. You, you don't want to be buying the tops and selling the bottoms. When something's up like that, for me, it's dangerous ground for me. I would not buy that, okay? I probably wouldn't even buy it here, okay? Um, maybe over there you'd buy it for a little pump. But yeah, and if, anytime I see a massive dump like that, I do tend to put a small trade on and kind of get some quick profits on that and i'm out as quick as i can okay but yeah that's hoge all right quick update on b26 right so b26 um you can go back and watch your videos on this all right i got into b26 way down here around 70 uh, 70 dollars and then again at around 125 dollars approximately so we've done uh, a nice gain on this, okay? It's gone to a peak of $550. I haven't taken profit on this, of course, because I am staking for 90 days, all right, guys? But yeah, if I was looking for a short-term opportunity, I definitely found it there without realizing it, okay? I could have taken some nice gains there. But where will this be in the next three months? Um, you know, I'm hoping for some crazy exit on this moving forward, all right? Obviously, it's had a little bit of a pullback. You get the profit taken, Okay, um, this wasn't uh, me taking a trade or anything. This was just me keeping a, an eye on the chart. Got the falling wedge, which I thought, you know, we're going to get a breakout. We saw the breakout with the volume, and obviously you get the continuation. And now we're getting a pullback, and now we're getting um, uh, the people looking for that second opportunity to get in on this. But um, very low market cap. I calculated that if, if this got to about 100 million market cap, it would put this token at about $3,800 or something around uh, around that mark all right guys so b26 is a good staking coin i'm earning 15 percent a week on this i like those high yields and you know it's uh it will only last for those three months all right so it's not long-term sustainable but um definitely a good opportunity for short-term staking and to get those short-term gains i mean with this i'm already like 5x up or something like that already uh, roughly Okay, I didn't get in that low. I know I'm about 5x up if we go from around a hundred dollar mark. Yeah, about 5x on this token. All right, so I'm happy with that. Um, hopefully, um, it will still uh, it will be much higher than this by the time my stake ends because you can't actually end your stake until the 90 days is over however it is giving me the rewards and i can claim those rewards free of charge go and check out the website guys and um, that is b26 but yet yeah, req is my next big one that i'm hoping will do a big move to the upside and i love it um i love looking at a chart like this because for me this tells me that i'm buying the bottom okay okay the bottom was over here but you know you're more or less buying the bottom if you zoom out on the chart and if this can give you a 10x or a 12x over here and even go back to his previous high you know you're looking at something in, in the range of like 27 30x all right so let me know in the comments what you think about that guys like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video